Motorcycle Adventure Dirt Bike TV is proudly supported by Adventure Spec in England, Rally Ray Products, Giant Loop in the United States and Adventure Moto in Australia. The city is alive with adventurous souls, trapped in the rhythm of this life to make ends meet, mindlessly travelling the same path. They are down in the streets thinking their life is unique, but their path has been chosen for them. They know they need more than a roof, food and love, and it's not found on a ferris wheel or fun park. To be rewarded with a Simpson Desert Adventure like this, you've got to earn it, and it's not going to be given to you on a plate. Just to get to the staging area at Birdsville, southwest Queensland, is an adventure in itself, and over 1,700 kilometres from where we live in Sydney. In this adventure, eight riders, supported by a four-wheel drive truck, go to a remote area of the Simpson, the Hay River. Six of the riders meet up at Cobar, 700 kilometres from Sydney, and the other two will meet us at Birdsville, if their bikes make it. This bloke is mad. He's riding a road bike into the desert. Where is he? There he is. Morning, everybody. It's good to see you. It's very civilised, this. The shower and the cup of tea. <laughs> it's uh, quite unusual compared to the rally seat. So, uh, doesn't look very Australian, the weather, but uh, we'll give it a go on the little CB. A bit of alternative anti-GS movement going on today. The anti-GS movement? Yeah, yeah. That's uh, small is better. Go light, go fast, go far. Not the rider, obviously, the bike. That is. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we had an ETA for this depart this morning at 0630, but uh, the other Team Nuggets group looks uh, surprisingly comatose this morning. <laughs> so. I can see heavy clouds, the direction we're going, and the wind blowing from that direction. We're going to get wet. <laughs> really wet. <laughs> hey, Alex. Where's your riding gear? That's, you've got to get dressed, mate. We're about to go. It's, uh, I've left it upstairs. Oh! <laughs> I am going to put it on. That's good. Stage, yeah. oh, oh. <laughs> 690 looks beautiful. Yeah. All ready for another adventure? Yes, she should look beautiful because I've spent enough money on her to make <laughs> her look beautiful. A lot of plastic surgery, really. Um, nuggets become semi-professional now. Now, do your ad. No, no, lay it up, lay it up, lay it up. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to come out on a nice cold morning in just my boots and the jacket and the chair. Oh, thank <laughs> So, warning. <laughs> God help us. Ted, you ready? What's that for, son? Are you going to drive? You're in the mood for driving? I don't mind the mood for driving. Again? I don't mind doing all this driving. Looking after the kids. You're looking after the boys. Helps your young blokes out. He's not much of a conversationalist. 
Looks like I might be getting to eat my words here, Dave. This thing's looking pretty set up, actually. Uh, it's certainly transformed from the last time I've seen it. It's got spoke wheels, Nugget. Yeah, it's coming. It's got a, long, a bash plate. Come a long way. Good morning, day one, here we go, 500 plus Ks. Um, weather's looking pretty bad, but uh, hopefully we'll stay in front of it. Into the red dust we go. Hey John, see that? Dirt for the next 4,000 Ks, mate. That's what I came for, and that's what the CB's built for, so we'll give her a good test. And she's in some good dirt bike company, so it'll be interesting the next week or two, see how she performs. This is what we were dreading, a wet desert. The Aboriginals have been telling us for months that it was going to be wet. This red soil is so slippery. We're on the road to Burke. Um, we've been rained out, as you can see. The roads are bloody slippery. Um, Dave <laughs> just come sideways and uh, it's slow going. Well, we were, we were worried the rain might come in today and it's here now and uh, I've never ridden on stuff like this. I've ridden in Morocco and Tunisia but they're on deep sand tracks that drain. These just don't drain, they just turn into custard. And uh, we're just going to let the tyre presses down, try and uh, get a bit more stability and uh, hope we can just trickle on for the next few k and it will dry up again. Now look at this, look at that. I tell you what, in conditions like this, it's good to have the four-wheel drive truck along, I've got to tell you. Oh, look at it sliding. Oh, have a look at the bikes! Oh my god, they're covered in shit! Where's this pommy geezer going? He's not even on the bloody road. Hey, you liking that? That's the greasiest shit, that is. <laughs> yeah, I've decided to go on the edges because it might be a bit steeper, but it's easier to try as ride it at a, in third and fourth and try and slippery and slidey in the middle there. Yeah. Let's see if I can get back up on here. It's a little, it's a little bit easier going up here. But, uh, hard yakka. So uh, Felice's bike's being looked after on the back of the trailer. I think you better uh, go and have a look, mate. It's, uh, he's not even riding it. That's <laughs> dirty. <laughs> have to go over and have a look. <laughs> yeah, Philippe's going to come out with uh, some good French words for that. Is he? Let's go and have a look. <laughs> oh my God. I think that'd have been better just riding the bike. <laughs> Look at Sean's bike! Just, I think they could have just, instead of using oh, the trailer, you're... just dragged them behind with a the rope and they'd have been cleaner. Oh, yeah, you're that's, kidding! Uh... First of all, we've got a cup of tea, which I think is... Oh. Well, the, um, the bad news is, fellas, uh, the roads are closed the way we want to go, so it looks like we're now having to go to Burke and head up into Queensland, which is a bit of a bummer, but um, we'd get stuck if we keep on going, the roads are shut. Mm. So, it's a house of road to Burke. Bad. <laughs> I've never seen it worse. We've got 40 k's to go. There's four wheel drives bogged down below us. Um, Nugget in the truck, he just had to drive past this four wheel drive to get past him, otherwise he would have got stuck. The guys, the mud is so bad now that you can see them, they're going up the sides of the track, but ultimately they've got to come back down at times. And have a go at this. Nugget, you're not looking after your bike, mate. Nah, here they come. What an adventure. 40 k's of this to go. Oh! 
He's really uh, treacherous in the four-wheel drive truck, isn't he? You just got to keep going. You can't stop. Oh, mate, can't stop. Just got to keep on going. Someone falls over, we can't stop. We can stop. We've had it. Yeah. 40 k's out of Burke. Let's see how we go. Well, I think the old big get off here. But he slid round, lost it. Backwards, that's what everyone's doing. And here comes a truck. I hope he can miss my bike. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Conditions, bro. Oh, yeah, it's all closed. That's closed now, yeah. Yeah, closed, yeah I've, I've taken out the family membership at the Mud Club. Crumbs. Well, we had a bit of a uh, plan B, but I've come up with a plan C. Try yes. and get us off the blacktop instead of heading up through Toon Pine up to Quilpie. Um, we're going to go all the way along through Thargaminda, all the way out, and we're going to chuck it right up here through Durnham Downs Cattle Station, one of the um, Sydney Kidman stations across the station, across to Cordillo Downs, the largest shearing shed in Australia, Southern Hemisphere actually, all the way up through Cordillo Downs, near Petuta, over to Birdsville. So that's as long as- And what about here? Do you reckon that's gonna be wet? No, well, I spoke to uh, the lady out of Durham Downs and they've only had a light sprinkle this morning. Mm -hmm. So touch wood, they get nothing overnight and we're, um, we're sweet as sugar. So we'll wait and see. Mm. Sounds interesting. Yeah, we've had an interesting day, that's for sure. <laughs>